I absolutely love my eggs and avo. I love my minced chicken pilau. I also enjoy my lamb chops. I love everything meat. But the one thing I hear a lot from so many of you guys and also my clients is that how do I make vegan stuff more interesting? How do I make vegan meals that give me more protein, lesser carbs and lower calories? Well, I can't promise the lesser carbs, but we'll try. And this is why I came up with my vegan spin-off series where I'll be turning my favorite non-vegetarian recipes into delicious plant-based ones. And in today's episode, I actually want to try my minced chicken pilau and I want to make that into a keema rice but of course vegan so let's get to it now i'm going to be using split masoor dal and mushrooms because this is going to give us that meaty texture you know and trust me if you really make it well you can't tell the difference now next you're going to need some spices and a lot of vegetables if you're going to add enough peas carrots onions and beans that's the only way you're going to reduce the amount of carbs or you're going to get slower carbs you can choose whichever vegetables you want of course and then of course we need some rice now i've listed the detailed ingredients so you can actually have a read at these okay step number one is you're going to take ghee and and you're going to make sure that it's heated and add some cumin seeds till they sizzle. Step two, you're going to add some chopped onions and cook until they are golden brown. Then you can stir fry your ginger garlic paste in it. Step three is when you finally toss in chopped mushrooms and sauteed onions for a minute. And then you're going to add a lot of mixed vegetables, let them saute as well. And step five is when you introduce the tomato puree in. And of course, all of the mentioned spices. Now I want you to cook all of this until this ghee starts to separate out and the puree is well cooked. Step six would be combining the masoor dal and the rice in a cooker, adding water as much as you require and then you're going to pressure cook this until it's done. And there you have it. It's a protein packed, flavorful vegan spin-off. If you enjoyed this, I want you to stay tuned for more interesting plant-based recipes. Comment below and let me know which recipe you'd like me to do a vegan spin-off for. I'll happily add that to my list.